Okay, so Duet 3D setup. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get connected to your Duet board. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download the USB drivers and install them. And then you're going to have to download a terminal emulation program called YAT. And what that will do is that will allow you to um, basically connect your computer to the Duet board and do any kind of configuring for, the, uh, for your network or Wi-Fi. So let's look at downloading USB drivers okay so I'm gonna have uh, a download link in the description or you can also go to the Duet 3D website uh, under guides they have a section called getting connected for your Duet uh, it will also have the download links and it will have further information so I would definitely read up on that so <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to download USB drivers and install them so let's go to the link and this is going to take us to github Okay, so we're gonna go to GitHub. It's uh, GitHub Rap Rap Firmware Duet Driver Files, and we're gonna go down here to download. Let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, so <clears throat> once it extracts it, there's two files in here. There's Duet and Duet If. So I'm gonna right click on Duet. I'm going to go to install, go ahead and hit open, it's going to ask me if I really want to do that, and yes I do. Okay, operation complete. Let's go ahead and close this out. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and <clears throat> take your Duet Wi-Fi board or Ethernet and actually connect it to the computer. Okay, so that could be USB or Ethernet. So now we need to install the uh, terminal emulator. Okay, so if you go down to the description, there'll be a download link, and that's going to take you to SourceForge for uh, to basically download YAT. Or you can also get the download link from Duet 3D website. So I'm going to go to download YAT. I'm going to go over here and go download. It's going to take a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. I'm going to right click on YAT 64 bit and I'm going to hit install. Okay, so YAT should be installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go, go ahead and go ahead and open YAT. Okay, so once YAT is installed and open, go ahead and go to File, New Terminal. Make sure your terminal type is text. Your serial COM port is your port type. Uh, your serial port, make sure it says do wet. Uh, it may not be COM3, it may be COM5 or 1. But uh, let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, so I now have a fresh terminal open. So the first thing to do is to actually check to see if the uh, firmware is up to date. So I'm going to type in an ilm 115 and this is cap sensitive so make sure you use a uh, capital ilm. So I'm going to hit send message. Okay so the ilm 115 basically returns that we're using the 1.19.2 uh, firmware version. Okay so if you need to update it, if not uh, you're good. So the next step is we're going to check the status of the Duet. So I'm going to type in ilm 552 and go to send. All right. So it says the Wi-Fi module is an idle. So we're good there. So basically, when the Duet returns, uh, basically you want you want to put the board in idle mode. It's already in idle, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over this anyways. So basically, what you do is ilm 552s0. Go to send. Okay, so Duet is in idle mode.
So next thing we need to do is we need to set up the network name and password, right? So whatever your network name is uh, for your Wi-Fi, you, uh, basically you want to you want to type it in. You want to set those settings uh, to the T. Okay. So how we do this is we're going to go to M five eighty seven S. Now we're going to put the network name. In quotation marks, okay. So it would be now you don't want to use 5G, okay. So if I, like if I look at the 3G distributed web network, uh, basically my network band is 2.4 gigahertz. That's what I want to use, right? So what I'm gonna do is. I want to make sure I copy that name perfectly, right? So 3D dash distributed, and we're just capitalized, and then you know keep it capitalized. So I'm gonna go 3D, oops, dash. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a P value, which is your password. In quotation marks, we're gonna put the password. Okay. So wherever your password is for your Wi-Fi, uh, go ahead and type that in. So we're gonna go ahead and hit send. Now my password is a little bit different, so I can't tell you my password. Okay, so the M five eighty seven comes back and it tells us that we're at 3D distributed. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to our browser. Um, now we need to know what our IP address is, okay? So since we set up the password and everything, what we need to do now is we need to actually send a ELM552. S1, oops, and we're actually going to connect to the duet. Okay, so M552 S1 connected to the duet. So the duet has confirmed that there's a connection. Alright, so now notice, notice it gives you this IP address, right? So, what you want to do is in your internet browser, and this will work on any inter, uh, modern internet browser, but <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go to 192.168.1.117. So once you have your uh, Duet interface comes up, uh, there's a couple of things you could do. Uh, one is you could go to config G file and basically if you look at the M552 this is uh, set networking. So you're probably going to want to un uncomment that out. <clears throat> 